Natalia Bonner, back with another fun little, hopefully inspiring video tutorial today. So today I'm going to be sharing this fun little variation of a swirl. You guys know that I love to machine fold swirls. So this one is a little bit different than the swirl that I often share with you. This one maybe is a little bit more precise, but it's actually a lot of fun to stitch out. So before we actually get to the stitching and show you how to quilt that design, I do want to tell you, you're going to see as I'm stitching this out some words and different things at the on this design. So you're going to wonder, what is she quilting this on? I have a brand new stitch along starting September 1st, 2020 called the Nine Patch Along. At the bottom of that panel, I am quilting this design. It's a really fun design, so I just thought, what the perfect place to stitch out <laughs> this swirl. However, I do want to tell you about this stitch along. So for nine weeks, well, not nine weeks, for about five weeks, it's actually about four and a half weeks, we are going to be sharing on Tuesdays and Thursdays a nine patch design, teaching you step by step how to quilt a nine patch design. So it starts September 1st, that's a Tuesday, then that next Thursday, the second block will be shared. This stitch along is free. Anybody that has the ability to meet machine quilt with rulers, we'd love to have you join. We do have a Facebook community. We'd also love you to join, that's free. Now we do have a few companion workbooks and other things like that, the rulers that you will wanna pick up over on our website, peaceandquilt.com. So check out the details below for everything you need to know about the nine patch along. But in the meantime, let's get stitching. To stitch out this overlapping swirl, I like to start out by stitching a swirl, swirling into the center. Now as I'm stitching that swirl, swirling into the center, I'm always thinking about leaving myself an out. So wherever I swirl into, I need to leave enough place to get back out of there. So once I swirl into the center, at that center point, I'm actually going to pause just for a brief second to make sure I get a nice point right in the center of my circle. Then as I'm swirling back out of that swirl, I'm going to continue stitching until I meet the previous swirl or one of the swirls that surrounds this. When I get to that point, I'll run my thread right up to that previous swirl. Then I'm actually going to stop, adjust, and stitch a short distance, maybe about a quarter of an inch along that previous stitch line. Then from there, I'll go in to adding either another echo around the outside of that swirl. Remember, if you've ever watched any of my other videos, I always say echoing is your friend. So echo when you need to, to add a couple of swirls around the outside of the main swirl. And then from there, when you feel like you're ready, you can go ahead and do that all over again, adding swirls and echoes wherever I need to. As I am stitching these out, do notice how I do like to alternate directions. So I don't want all of those swirls to look as though they're going the same direction. I think the more variety there is, the better it's going to look overall. So make sure some of your swirls are small, some are large, and sometimes I'm actually just stitching echoes to fill in small spaces. I am stitching out this design. This is hand guided. I'm using my Gamel 22 inch machine and I do have my stitch length set at 12 stitches per inch. The thread that I'm using here on the top is so fine. The color is number 401 and then on my bobbin I have bottom line 
color number 624. We have all these products available on our website, peaceandquilt.com. I'll let you watch for just a little bit as I continue to machine quilt this fun overlapping swirl design. And like I mentioned earlier, we'd love for you to check out our nine patch along and have you stitch along with us starting September 1st. Have a great day, everybody.